Mark G here from Orange Beer Reviews and Tools. And uh, we got a lot of German brew today. I've been getting emails and some comments about doing why don't I do uh, foreign beers. And uh, I do like the German brews and the hops and uh, the ingredients. These are Bavarian brews. So uh, let's get to this brew right here as you saw earlier. A little information on this brewery first. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> try and pronounce without killing it. V. Vion. Vion. Steph. No. V. Vion. Steph. No. Vion. Steph. No. Brewery. A Bavarian state uh, brewery. I guess owned by the Bavarian state. Uh, it used to be an old abbey. Started in 1040. AD 1040. 1040 the year was in freezing Bavaria, Germany. Uh, the world's oldest brewery, I know. Uh, Hells, uh, that's H E L L E S. In Germany, it can mean two things by itself, it means bright. Bright B R I G A C. With, with uh, conjunction of a beer, it means a light beer. So this is a 4.8% alcohol by volume. I wouldn't call it a light beer, maybe in color or in stature. Excuse me, as you can see, we're doing this in the middle of uh, the snow here. <laughs> this is Massachusetts, we do get snow. 4.0% uh, alcohol by volume with 21 international beer units. Some of the hops that I think are in this are Spalt, Halatar, Tatang, uh, Magnum. A rough idea, a rough guess on it. All right, uh, no further ado, let's get to the brew. We got the glass from uh, Merrimack Brewery up there in Lowell, Massachusetts. And my lovely wife visited the brewery and uh, a nice ride up there, pretty close to New Hampshire. And uh, the folks are really fine up there. Nice small brewery. Uh, those small breweries they have a hard time with uh, distribution, unfortunately, and that's sad. All right, let's crack this open. But the folks up there are real nice. The owner, I say, he gave me that glass. We got some brews up there at the bar in the brewery. Ah, nice. The world's oldest brewery. Saw this earlier. All right. I won't run this too long because it's not the <laughs> the coldest day, but it's not the warmest day here in uh, Massachusetts. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Put that right there for now. I do have a. Uh, I get some water. Let me have whip my voice here. Mmm. Oh, it's too old. Vasa. Ain't no water. Uh, I always get these. Uh, last time my wife cooks these. That uh, piece up. Uh, the Cheetos. <laughs> Uh, flaming hot puffs. Flaming hot. Uh, we're working with the rest of this here. Not the much need one. I'm uh, ready for a brew. A nice German black of Pilsner's, I should say. Oh, yeah. Real hot. Building up. Mm, that's good. A lot of these products, the companies, they do hot. Mm, this is hot. And sometimes they're not hot. This one is. All right. You can see a yellow straw color to it. Carbonation coming up. Holding the head on it. Oh, I know all these 
the German brews. You get the aromatics of the brew. Some of the noble hops of uh, the way it's brewed, the water, the yeast. I mean, the aromas are very aromatic in it. Um, it's kind of hoppiness, a little bit of hoppy. Some breadiness to it. Alright, cheers. A Prost, they say in Germany. Mm. First thing I get is sweetness. Uh, first thing I get, not cloyingly sweet, uh, sweet, just some sweetness in the brew. Mm. Beautiful. I'm not getting the dank taste of the as a rule, the German brews, like Dinkalaka, and <laughs> I can't think of any of the German brews. Mm. A little, little minor biscuity. Mm. That's good. Very flavorful, very drinkable. Excuse me. I say there's a possibility of tango hops in this here and magnum. I know it's gonna blow over, so I'll put it here, but we'll see how long it stays. I know there's a lot of uh well, there it goes. I know there's a lot of snow that you can probably possibly see behind and all around. We got about uh it was supposed to be initially forecast at 14 inches. Then they knocked it down 10 inches, and I think we ended up getting something like 4 inches on top of maybe an inch that we had, maybe 3 inches, maybe, and, and we already had an inch of snow on the ground, mostly on the western part of the state, and um, I hope the skiing areas up in Vermont and New Hampshire are getting uh, all the snow. Uh, so what else do I have here? Um, Oh, it's, I did say what's that in freezing, but there is F-R-E-I-S, I-N-G, freezing, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Mm. Has a nice flavor, there's really a good, those are lot of flat lager chip. Sorry for the background noise. We're pretty close to a street today. Sorry for that. Mm. That is very drinkable. Very drinkable. And <laughs> not the kind of day you want to be outside drinking a beer. When, uh, what's the temperature? Probably 37, 36. Not bad. Sun's out. We're getting some melting of the snow. And it's very good, and it's a Bavarian brew. They go by the Bavarian purity law. But I'm not getting the vagueness from the, the, the German hops that I do on a lot of the uh, German brews. And I say vagueness, I don't mean it's bad. Excuse me. My nose is running a little bit because of the cold here. Uh, but um, so there's a pocket there someplace. To the front of the window. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna end this here. I'm getting foolish now. And the, foolish from the cold, I think. And, um, well, anyway, hope the skiers are doing good. Should have got a lot of snow, snow, <laughs> snow up north and in the west. I got a lot, uh, quite a bit, just a bunch of snow. But, anyways, uh, let me end this here. Oh, the Bruins, yeah. Throwing points in my hat. Yeah, the Bruins are doing fantastic. Uh, they have my number one. Excuse me. Hockey team in the NHL. New York uh, Rangers are second. I like them. And uh, enjoy watching hockey. But anyways, I've got the tangent. Yeah. Good combination. Good combination. The mouthfeel is smooth in this. Very, very typical of um, 
it, 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 somewhat of an American lager beer. Low, low, no, I should say low, low. A lot of American beers are 4.4, 4.8, or 5, 5.5% of uh, by volume. So, it's really not low, I should say. It's not come across as a light beer by any means. As you can see, the color of it has good body to it. I can see this brew going with a lot of food choices to have when you're eating something you want to be with it. I can see this going with a lot of different items. Excuse me, the combination. Alright, so I'll kind of end in here. Shout out to uh, Tool Me in there. Um, we fix all kinds of small engines. Uh, Carol fixes all. Carol's natural. His name he goes by. Uh, but he does these little skits and so forth that are really funny. And uh, you can learn a lot. Watch his channel. You can learn how to fix your own small lawnmowers, uh, snow blowers, riding lawnmowers, or anything with small engines. And he's done other stuff too, a bit bigger. But you can learn a lot. It's a nice show. Very educational, very uh, entertaining on that on that there. And I want a couple of shout outs to uh, beer reviewers. Uh, Ronald Terrio, he's down in uh, New Orleans. He does really good beer, in depth beer reviews. And also a little, sometimes he does some history on items and different topics, which is nice. Uh, John and Neely, I've been, uh, he does dry beer reviews. He has a number of nice, nice brews that he does that we all have questions about. And he will do a review on it and you learn about it. Uh, do I have any other ones? Uh, I probably do, and then I uh, can't think of it right now. Uh, Andrew Camerata, he does a lot of fixing up of vehicles, heavy equipment, and trucks. So when he's going to want a piece of land on top of a mountain. So, alright, so with that said, I'll end it here. I did not see on my breath. From Eastern Massachusetts, snowy Eastern Massachusetts. Cheers.